Hello students, welcome to my channel and good morning to all of you. So in this uh, lecture series, I am going to give you concepts about egg different uh, aspects of agriculture and I will be posting here in this channel every morning. So stay tuned with me. So today uh, is the baseline video. Uh, so what I will be discussing today is what is agriculture and how you can interlink the agriculture. You know, students they used to pursue graduation, masters and PhD but they don't know how to study the agriculture and how to interlink the subjects itself. So uh, it is seems to be very difficult for them to grasp the knowledge, to acquire the knowledge, they neglect some subjects, they neglect something and they uh, and the, even if in PhD uh, they think about what I am doing. Okay, so what you have to know, you have to know the process the interlinking path uh, among the subjects and how to study it, how to develop, how to build that concepts of agriculture. What is agriculture? You have to know a lot of things, but if you interlink them, if you know the path, how to study the agriculture, uh, what is the importance of agriculture uh, and how to study, how to apply this in field, so then it will be uh, quite more easier to grasp the knowledge, to excel in your exam, to uh, you know, uh, to appear any competitive exam in agriculture. Suppose you are uh, going for banking exam. Suppose you are applying for master's degree. Suppose you are applying for PhD, the GRF, SRF, and all these exam. Suppose you are applying for OPSC, UPSC, everything. So if you got the concept, if you get the knowledge, then it will be much more better for you. Okay. So let's begin. So I am not. Uh, I will not cover the topics like this derived from this word, this, uh, this, these are mock up things, this you can find in, in any book. I will be covering here in this talk, in this lecture that how you should proceed in agriculture, how you should interlink the things in agriculture. So without wasting much time, let's begin the topic. So agriculture as we know, this is the backbone of our country. Okay. Why it is the backbone of our country? Let me uh, start with agriculture. Okay. Agriculture, this is the backbone of India. Why? A big question mark. Why? Why we say agriculture is the backbone of our country? So, what is the uh, GDP of our nation? It will be gross domestic product our nation of our suppose uh, in uh, layman language that is our wealth in our nation generated uh, in every year. So agriculture contributes to around 15 to 16 percent to that wealth. Okay, the leading sectors are like service sector uh, followed by uh, you know industry sector then agriculture sector. But even if it is in third position, even if if it contributes 15 to 16 percent, but it is stable and we need it. Why? Because in day to day life, whatever we are like, we, we are wearing cloth, that is on agriculture. We are drinking tea, that is agriculture. We are eating rice, uh, you know, sugar, uh, everything, whatever we eat, that is agriculture. And uh, we cannot sustain on uh, industry and service sector because uh, recently I am giving the example uh, during COVID pandemic, uh, everyone like got fired from job, uh, every industry was stopped, but not agriculture. It sustains, uh, sustained our economy. And then, uh, it, uh, whatever workforce working uh, in our country, man force, okay. So, a major portion of that, like 55% or 56% of that workforce work in agri uh, agriculture, okay. So, that is how you can imagine that why agriculture is important. So how to, uh, basic, what is the basic process, what are the basic steps we must know in agriculture, okay, as, as an agriculture graduate, uh, if you are interested in agriculture, so what are the basic processes, okay, we know sun is our source of energy, infinite source of energy is sun, okay, it radiates some electromagnetic wave, electromagnetic wave, okay, so, this electromagnetic wave, what is radiated from sun, what is coming from outer atmosphere, okay, 
that con con consists of different wavelength bands okay so what is our you know important uh, for our uh, agriculture our earth is the visible okay uv means that is ultraviolet infrared okay that is of higher wavelength uv that is of lower wavelength that is inside in between that is photosynthetically active radiation this is a part of visible radiation okay that visible radiation is important for earth okay then what is photosynthetically active radiation the part of visible radiation that is used by crop to produce crop to produce an yield okay so how they produce okay so plants are the basically they are the producer why we uh, say plants are producer because they produce crops how they produce crops how they produce different things whatever we consume whatever we that we get from plant whether we consume meat then from where meat came from they also consume plant okay so uh, producer so how they produce crop by the process that is called photosynthesis auto okay so in photosynthesis also also plants have different processes like for photosynthesis transpiration uh, you know respiration uh, there are different bio, uh, biochemical cycles inside plants so what is this photosynthesis suppose this is plant okay let me let this things okay so just uh, get the idea how agriculture works okay suppose this is a plant i am taking a big plant okay this is soil okay so what are the resource plant needs to do that photosynthesis okay so a basic equation is co2 i am writing uh, without that managing the empirical parts water then it uh, take that energy and 66h12o6 okay this is what we call glucose molecule glucose molecule and this is a carbohydrate okay this is carbohydrate what gives us energy okay so plant needs carbon dioxide plant needs water plants need energy what is that energy that is solar energy that is photosynthetically active radiation that that is needed by plant what is that photosynthetically active radiation that one then that is belong to in between 400 to 700 nanometer this uh, you know this particular wavelength is required by plant to get to do that photosynthetic process what it uh, needs carbon dioxide and water to form glucose molecule okay so uh, from this you know wavelength band okay there are several color gradient okay so what we basically call them v bio you can remember this v bio what is that v bio violet then indigo then blue then green then yellow orange then red so most you know most important radiation most important band from this is blue and red here the photosynthetic photosynthesis is higher okay in blue in red and blue and where the uh, where there is less photosynthesis that is green because plants always that reflect that green radiation so that whenever we see any plant that seems to be green why it seems to be green because plants reflect that green band and that fall in our eyes and uh, it seems to be green okay so that is the weakest band in terms of photosynthesis okay so uh, suppose okay so where we we are photosynthesis about photosynthesis all right so plant receives that energy from sun okay that photosynthetic active radiation then it receives uh, like water from where from soil water uh, then uh, some nutrients okay 
this they get from soil. Then uh, they get carbon dioxide from atmosphere. Then this process happens inside chlorophyll. Okay, chlorophyll. We'll uh, study it in detail later. Okay, so uh, whenever uh, we sow, we plant uh, anything in seed, or we sow any, anything in seed in a proper uh, row arrangement. This is from agronomic point of view. Proper row. Why we uh, you know sow them in a proper row arrangement so that it will get enough space to uh, to avoid that competition among uh, you know between plants, plant to plant competition. It will avoid it so that it will uh, you know uh, grasp that different uh, resources like air, water, and nutrient. You know that will be optimum for its growth. So that's why we uh, plant th those in a proper row arrangement. Then we, after sowing, what we do? We irrigate that crop. Why we irrigate that crop? Because when seeds are sown in the dry soil, there will, nothing will happen. Okay. When we, it get contacted with that water, then seed imbibe that water. What is imbibition? Imbibition is the process when water absorbed by a dry you know part okay so seed is dry dry now earlier then when it conducts with water it imbibes that water it sucks that water okay then there will be some you know physiochemical process inside the seed like uh, synthesis of gibberellic acid then what happens then radical and primule you know radical and primule radical this part primule this is seed okay Radical and plimule. This is called germination. Okay, this process is the uh, emergence of radical and plimule. This is called germination process. Then the plant, the seed is germinated. Okay, then uh, what? Uh, then what it uh, does? Then that root that take nutrient and water from soil, and we have to apply that nutrient also basally and you know after sowing or uh, then uh, you know foliar spray also we do then this uh, this plant uptake uh, like water and nutrients from soil carbon dioxide from air and light from sunlight okay and it uh, you know produce leaves then it uh, do that photosynthesis process and from photosynthesis then it get energy to produce different biomolecules inside that like protein, uh, you know, fat, all those things. So there is certain process that we will cover in physiology, plant physiology. Then what happens? Then uh, during its growth, during the growth of the plant, uh, certain uh, you know abiotic factors, biotic factors, they interfere in their growth activity, and we have to you know protect the plant from that to get. Maximum yield or optimum yield. What is yield? Yield is the economic part. What we will consume, what we, uh, what is need for us, why we grow plant. That is yield. Okay. So to uh, grow, uh, to get that maximum yield, maximum production, we have to prevent the plants to be affected by those biotic and abiotic stresses, the factors like uh, in biotic factor, if we say winds, uh, you know, excess rainfall excess temperature these are the factors and then a biotic, a biotic factor like uh, insects a pests okay so then uh, you know weeds this we have to prevent to get that ill maximization so when we get that ill after this prevention and all we get that ill produced then uh, we comes what that marketing of that ill or processing processing then marketing of that produce to get remuneration from this okay so this is the whole process okay uh, in a single class this is very difficult to manage but whatever uh, i gave that is enough for your basic idea about agriculture so from the next video onwards i will be uh, covering some of the basic concepts of agriculture uh, through this lecture everyday morning lecture okay so stay tuned uh, till then and uh, if you have any doubts on any uh, anything in agriculture then you can ask in the comment section and if you like the video then do not forget to subscribe.
Okay, till then, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.